family dynamics oh, it, it's too much sometimes it's way too much and thankfully I don't have to deal with the drama that these people dealt with in this book keep watching to find out what I'm talking about Hey y'all, this is Kyla with Kyla's Reading Day and today we are talking about the book LA Weather. It's written by Maria Amparo Ascandan and it was exceptional, 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 exceptional book. The genre of the book is fiction. The theme of the book is, is just literature and so it starts off really really heartbreaking with this story and it's a story having to do with these granddaughters and you're like oh man that's too bad but also the grandfather was there so what's going on so the whole story you're thinking that something's going on with him and it turns out to be not what's happening and then you get into the lives of the sisters see I'm going way too far so this book was actually suggested to me by my niece and I'm reading the book and then I finished it and I'm like hey tell me when you're done with the book too so we can talk about it and she's like oh my god I love this part of the book y'all we had the same quote <laughs> we had the same quote that we absolutely love so I don't know what that means about our family but we love this quote so let me read it to you so the quote is we wanted you to stay together because we were in love with your marriage more than our own and as I'm listening to an audiobook you know you're listening and you may be like putting away the dishes or doing something but there'll be a sentence that just keeps looping in your head and you're like that is good that is really resonating with me that quote was relevant for literally every character of the book okay so you have the parents who were Kayla and Oscar and then you have their three daughters Claudia Patricia and Olivia so Olivia is married to Felix Patricia was with Eric and also had a son so that was a different dynamic and Claudia was with Gabriel so you know I told you that something happened in the beginning of the story and you start to hear about the siblings and they come around and then the spouses are also a very big part of the story because your spouse is a part of your life and then you just start to uncover this after this after this after that after that after this the book was exhausting to read and that is a compliment if the author ever sees this that is a compliment but it's because you were going you were taking me through the motions okay that, that was just for you in case you ever see this <laughs> I was I felt like I was running a marathon because you're you were jumping between the different lives and it was almost like you were watching a movie and seeing it all unfold and I was just like it was like a the best telenovela you've ever read right that was how I would explain it so that quote was really important to me because there are a lot of different marriages in my family I've been married for almost three years and so I know how your spouse can be a big part of your life and how you do root and cheer for your friends who are with other people and yes I would definitely reread the book again and please someone turn this book into a movie I would love to watch it so thank you for watching another installment of Kyla's reading day I really enjoyed this book it was a phenomenal recommendation to me I, I was so grateful that my niece recommended this to me and I couldn't put it down I burned through the book so quickly so let me know if you read a book that made you feel like you were watching a telenovela because of all the developing stories and dramas that were in there and leave me a comment let me know that you're watching let me know that you're out there and like the video so that YouTube continues to share it with other people thanks again for watching I will see you later bye